what is up everyone Northside here welcome to my channel okay today we're gonna talk about the rage of bell and the infamous rod that dropped from insurgencies currently on the live server it's a it's a mess it's a real mess it's laggy the there are 70 instances two of them are working the bell meter is taking way too long to charge which gives people opportunity to farm this rod battle worn metal rod and the, the problem is I was doing that for three hours because I'm a stubborn CSOV and I know they're going to fix that probably tomorrow or maybe even tonight, but this was for an emergency patch. That's my, my personal opinion. And I always going to say how I feel about it. I think they made a mistake. They gave us like an Easter egg that's in the skill nodes and we had to do 20 in 20 minutes. After that, they raised the drop chance from 6% to higher. And there was no problem getting the uh, rod to progress up to infused forger box, etc. So the mythic rod, infused metal rod drops from Bell, but this one, Bell born metal rod, that's all everybody's asking, how did you get it? I literally was farming for three hours and I was like, and, and the community, like the guys in the zone, the zone is usually toxic, but I never seen so much memes. I actually logged them all. So I'll see if maybe Galactic or Putzboy also told me maybe to make a funny video about it. I never seen so many memes about the rod. It was really funny actually. It makes the time go faster in all that misery because it, it is a misery. A very, very, very buggy episode. I am not satisfied. And also there is a lot of disappointment in the rings. And I wish we will get to that. But first, what is happening? Just in a few sentences. If you enter the insurgency in a wrong instance or one of two that are working, you are going to be entering in the empty instance. And basically everybody's in trying, community is okay. They're trying to invite each other into those two, three working instances so they can get percentages and they can get the try to get this rod because this rod is very hard to get. And I literally killed the last boss. I said, this is it. I'm done. You know, screw the rod. I'll just use the old one belt item and power channel skills and bam. I got it in an overflow bag. I could not, could not believe it. So when I finish that, uh, I'm going to show you what happens basically when you turn in the quest. So we are finishing the episode and we are getting a mythic amulet. He doesn't have to be charged. There's no need to do it anymore. <laughs> All you're going to need to do is farm bell. And I'm going to explain this in a second. And you can buy ornate box of Falanca's treasures. Now you can see on the screen that the dented metal rod is a component that you need to get it to the last level for the belt item. Hound of the Forge, Epic Mount, Slag Hound, Valenka's Elite Soldier. I didn't get Epic Mount. I only got one companion, one dented metal rod out of, I think, 300 boxes. And Reiner, I'm going to leave a link to his video in the description. He did an awesome job. He was very tired after that. And it is quite underwhelming that I will show you the rings. As you see, random 1010 ring. I didn't see any. 990, yes. 980, yes. Plus one, plus two, yes. But they're all, they're all crap. I mean, stats-wise, they're good, but they're all the same bonuses. And I will show you that. So we're going to finish the quest. As you can see, I got my hood. On the right side, some ring, and I think I can buy, I think, six of these Valanchas boxes. So I do not have on this tune legendary dented metal rod. So I'm, if we get it, oh, we got it. Excellent. I don't even have to switch the tune. So this is the second dented metal rod. Oh, this, this was very lucky. If you don't believe me, I'm in a rush to take a dog out, but I really wanted to like uh, finish this strong. So let's see what else we can get. Mind you, these are the mythic boxes. And that's it. That's all I got. It's not a lot. It's only six boxes. But let's take a look. Now, I know it's a little bit messy in my inventory. However, there are some really nice transmutes. But for that, I'm going to have to go into the bank really quick. And it's right here. I'm going to show you what we have. A couple of rings. Uh, yes, pardon me, the transmutes are character bound. Unbelievable, yeah, I forgot to tell you that. So if you go through the rings, for example, prequel ring of the forest, 980, offense slot, defense combat advantage, that's all peachy. I don't see any legendary rings here. There is no legendary rings, or there are, but the, the drop chance is low, even lower than this Battle of War metal rod. I think that the, this drop chance for this rod is under 1%, 0 point something, maybe 1% maximum. It is horrible. People are very frustrated. I mean, 
let's be honest, nobody's forcing me to do it, right? But, you know, I wanted to, to see, I know somebody from Cryptic will watch this. I don't know if Chris is going to watch it or anybody else. I always give my link to Julia. You guys needed to fix this prior, my days, days before. Lag is unacceptable. The broken instances, people are frustrated. And on top of all that, the drop rate of the rod is abysmal. But by the time you're watching this video, guys, probably they will fix that. They will change something, but I don't know. I'm not psychic. So let's restore the infused forger box. Now, as you can see, this is the hardest one to get battle war metal rod. So this one will cost us 60 chaotic writings, which is not a problem. And we're going to get vibrating forger box. So let's restore that one. Now, this is interesting. It's using infused mythic rod to make a legendary empowered forger box. Fine. We're going to do that. So we're going to restore it. And as you can see, this is the last region, dented metal rod. Very important. It's coming from the boxes I just showed you. We're going to upgrade it. I already show you how it looks like. It is good. Hell forger. Forge the Awakened Forger box. Okay, so this is how it looks like. And if I put it here next to my old one, there we go. You can see that there is a chance on the old one for power, for this, for that. But here we got guaranteed for power 2.8k. We got critical strike, accuracy, combat advantage, crit severity, action points, and recharge speed. Nobody asked me anything, but I would just leave uh, crit sev, action point, and recharge speed. And that's it. This is all RNG, but 2.8k power is pretty good actually. It puts me at almost 250k power idle with, uh, with the survey, of course, which is very good. So this is what how the restoration looks like. Many bosses I have slain and I had a lot of fun, but I also got really tired, but I'm stubborn. So, you know, Capricorns. Anyway, a leading ring of the mentor. Almost 20,000 common advantage. Why one of hand slot? Why? Where are the Tom rings? Where are the 1010 rings? Where are the legendary rings? This ring of the condemned plus one. You will see on the Reiner's video plus two plus three. That's it. There's no plus four and plus five, if I'm not mistaken. It's just horrible. There we go. Ring of the overwhelmed plus three. And I think that's it. Maybe there is something very low chance that you can get a plus four and five ring. But I don't know, I think if Reiner didn't got it from, I don't know, 1,000 boxes, God knows, he was working for 8 hours. So make sure to go there and smash that like button, sub to him, he earned it. He's a good guy, a good creator, and he contributes to the community a lot. Uh, we're going to wrap this video up. You can see also a lot of nice transmutes on his video. I'm not going to show this. Also, I am a lizard, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but as you see, Cryptic, you need to fix this, whoever is watching this. Please do it for the love of God. That is just horrible. Just horrible. People are not happy at all. And, you know, it's a perspective of the individual. You know, maybe somebody say, hey, you, what? you don't need your vacant forger box. You know, I wanted this. I don't give a rat's ass about this, these rings. Maybe if they were legendary new rings with, but it, there is no logic in that because the new rings are coming. I showed you that in mod 19. Unfortunately, in new Zariel trial, the old Tom rings, but I'm not even going to go there after all. Okay, so this is how you do it. If they don't fix this tomorrow or maybe tonight, tomorrow or during the weekend, what I did, I just type in the zone chat. If, if somebody can invite me, if the instance is not full, I go there, I leave the party, invite other people so they can get their percentages and everything else. But the abysmal drop rate for the, the restoration of the box is just horrible. It is horrible. And the only reason that we actually made it is because if everything is working properly, <laughs> the, the bell meter would be filled in a couple of minutes and that's it. You can kill maybe one, two, three bosses, but that's not enough. I, I think I killed over 300 bosses total. Well, that's horrible, horrible. So anyway, I'm not complaining. I like my forger box. I got it on a legendary on the live server. I still need to grind for bell, yeah, for dented rod. And uh, that's it. I mean, I'm gonna show you one more time that from here, you are basically getting dented metal rod component, epic mount, and that's very important, but don't expect some special ultra, I don't know what kind of rings. And remember you're paying 5,000 AD for this and 15 currency. So there is that. 
Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you soon uh, with a new video with the barbarian rotation, etc. I will explain that in the video. Grats to the winners. Grats to everybody who participated. New giveaways coming soon. Northside is out. Bye bye and thank you for watching.